Thanks, Kyla. Well, this weekend, every California Highway Patrol officer will be out there looking for unsafe drivers. Quad Force has Zeke Madun spoke with the CHP about how this storm will also likely increase the potential for dangers for impaired drivers. This New Year's celebration weekend is going to be a wet one out on Bay Area roads and freeways. I guess I would say it's kind of the perfect storm, right? Mixing impaired drivers and poor driving conditions just makes it exponentially worse. Friday at 6 p.m. marks the beginning of the California Highway Patrol's maximum enforcement period. CHP officers will have an increased presence on freeways in an effort to keep drivers safe. CHP spokesperson Andrew Barclay talks about how the weather will play a major role this year. We look at the fact that we're probably dealing with more impaired drivers, but on top of that, you add in the weather component, whether it's here with rain, whether it's in the Sierras with snow. For us, it's, it's very important to have extra people out there, as I mentioned, not just for the impaired driving component of it, but also to be there for, you know, people who may break down along the way and need extra help. The driver of this overturned big rig on 880 freeway at High Street in Oakland needed a little help Friday morning. The cause of this accident is still under investigation. Obviously, a, an overturned big rig uh, is not an easy thing to move, especially when it's loaded. During last New Year's maximum enforcement period, there were 29 fatalities, 495 arrests for driving under the influence, and CHP officers wrote 2,300 tickets for speeding. But also for the Bay Area, we also tend to see this week between Christmas and New Year's typically being a lot of travel with people going up to Tahoe or just enjoying that week with family. So please, please, please slow down out there. Just take your time, have patience, get where you're going safely. The California Highway Patrol maximum enforcement period ends Monday at 11.59 p.m. Hazik Madhun, Cron 4 News.